Fora TV. The world is thinking. So does anyone else here get frustrated when there's bad science in science fiction films? Yeah. yeah. Good. Now, even, even in films that we like, like, because I want to I have two examples. And one is a movie I love. It's Star Wars. The original Star Wars, Star Wars 4. <laughs> right? A New Hope. And you may, I bet, I, well, I hope a lot of you already know what scene I'm going to talk about. There's a classic scene where Obi-Wan and Luke need a ship to go on their little adventure. And they wind up in a cantina, and they meet Han Solo. And Han Solo is bragging about his ship when he says, you haven't heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 parsecs. And it sounds very impressive, but how many people know a parsec is not a unit of time. It sounds like it has that SEC in it, but it's a unit of distance. And I know a lot of people just go, get over it, geek. It's just a movie. But no, it's Star Wars, first of all. And <laughs> second of all, he could have made up a word, right? It happened a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> but he misused a word. And to me, that's no different than if you were supposed to meet someone somewhere, and you show up late, and you go, I'm sorry, have you been waiting long? And they go, yeah, about 15 yards. <laughs> I'm sitting here counting the inches. It makes no sense. Now, sometimes I find there are some huge Star Wars fans that say, excuse me, but what you don't understand, sir, I don't know why they would call me sir in my hypothetical situation here, but they go, you don't understand, that's not a mistake. But you know, they have ships that can go faster than light. And which, by the way, I'll accept that. I'll, expect, I'll accept faster than light travel, lightsabers, the force, but not screwing up the parsec word. That's just a bluff. <laughs> and they'll go, but that's not a mistake. He really meant that, that they're able to shrink the distance. They warp space. And what he meant is he was able to reduce the distance to less than 12 parsecs. And that's what it means. That's why it's not a mistake. And that's what we call a rationalization <laughs> after the fact. Retcon is a term that a lot of people used to use, like to use for retroactive continuity. And, and I always, you know, you could argue that all day, but now I finally, I have the definitive answer because I had never read it, but sitting on my bookshelf was the Star Wars novel. And not written just by some writer, written by George Lucas. And on page 101 of that book, Star Wars by George Lucas, there's the same scene, and what he says is, you haven't heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel Run in less than 12 standard time parts. OK, so first of all, time parts, right? Not, not distance, he said time parts. Second of all, time parts? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Is that the worst writing you have? What the, in the, time parts? That's what you came up with, the Force and Wookiees and, and the Death Star and Darth Vader, the most imagined standard time parts? You couldn't? <laughs> You're telling me this is a civilization that never named their basic unit of time? <laughs> what? So, <laughs> standard time. He just gave up. He's like, he put all his imagination into that book. And in the end, it's like, screw it, time parts. I got nothing. I got nothing. It's all in there, Jawas, but time parts.